It's that time again. 7.30. Friday morning. Hey. Ready to get this weekend started. Mm. Today we're going to talk about baby steps and bad replacements. Welcome to the podcast. This is Jeff Banks. And, you know, we have big things to accomplish, right? We want to do the impossible. But uh, Ryan Tracy always says this, <laughs> almost in everything. How do you eat an elephant? You know, those big, giant, big things that we want to, uh, you know, tackle. How do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. So I was thinking, uh, I was sitting in my thinking chair thinking about what I was going to think about. And this came up, baby steps. Uh, trying to accomplish those big giant tasks, those big audacious, uh, hairy, uh, audacious goals. Um, you know, what came to mind? It was an anime that came to mind. Uh, I'm a, a watch about it. And there was a tennis one called Baby Steps. And rightfully so, it was about taking baby steps. I think the main reason it was called Baby Steps because, well, it's about a boy. This is the summer. It's about a boy who he kind of liked the girl that played tennis all the time. And she was like, you ought to play. And he's like, well, I don't know nothing about tennis. So he tries and fails miserably. But he was interested in the mechanics of it, the, the basics, how to hit the ball, where to move. If the ball is going this way, the, then I need to be standing right here. And he was interested in those things. He wasn't really all that interested in playing tennis, but the mechanics behind the, the little basics, he was interested in that. And uh, the baby steps were he would learn to perfect the little bitty mechanics of each. Uh, like the, he do a million um, swings or backstrokes or, you know, all, all kind of, I mean, backhands. He, he did all kind of uh, little things and perfected those. So he became a very solid player. And somebody was trying to encourage him. He was like, you need to take baby steps to giant strides. And I always keep that. I got that. It's in one of my notebooks. And I, I keep it. I keep the visual and I have it written down in some of my things. Uh, when you want to accomplish these big goals, you need to be able to be okay with having baby steps I mean taking baby steps because I know some things you, you I don't know if you ever been to Stone Mountain in, in Atlanta but it's a mountain I mean, it's a big giant rock and if you stand in front of it you feel very small if you stand on top of it you can see far but all the little people down there, they're, they're very small. You don't just conquer things, especially impossible things, in one go. Most people don't. But if they have a systematic way of doing it, this is going to, the progression will be there. And soon you'll be done. You'll have accomplished the impossible. We have to have great, thank you. We have to have great um, positive, we have to develop positive um, steps to, to get to where we're going, okay? And like I said, it's okay to have baby steps. As long as you're moving forward, then you're moving forward. What we have to do also 
is replace the negative habits that we have hindering us. So sometimes we stand in front of that mountain and say it's too big and walk away. Got to change that. Or we start to climb the mountain and say, I'm tired. I'm going to turn around and go back home. Got to change that. The bad habits that we have developed over time need to be replaced by positive steps or and then we can be small steps but a positive action to replace those negative actions because when you say I'm not going to do these negative actions anymore guess what there's a hole that we create we stop and that hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger and something needs to plug it if you were a smoker and you said you know what I don't do this anymore and you walk away with all intentions of never doing it again the addiction and the habit of taking the smoke will overwhelm you now I'm not saying it's impossible because nothing's impossible but if you systematically or methodically replace the habit then it's a lot easier and your success rate will be a lot greater so instead of saying i'm gonna just put this down and do this what we can do is when i have the urge you know write this all out and stick with it when i have the urge to take the smoke i'm a pop a nicotine gum or any kind of gum some something to offset my mind uh, action that's going to replace that action that was uh, that was negative before and we are getting rid of that so that's a positive step forward and you have a highly likely success rate so remember throughout this weekend to you know when you're planning out your big goals or to accomplish those big goals Take baby steps. Something that you can do. And also replace the bad habits with positive habits. They don't even have to really be equal. It's just like whenever I was going to do this, I'm going to do this and I'm going in this direction instead of down this pathway. So you guys, it is Friday. We're going to have a great weekend and see you on Monday.